Oh yeah, did you know it's possible your next car just might pay your electricity bill, believe it or not. So g'day, how are you? I hope you're well. Thank you for watching, it's very much appreciated. What we've got here, Australia. Yes, Australia, that's where I am right now under this big storm, lightning, plenty of thunder around. Anyway, Australia just quietly dropped the biggest flex in the history of electric cars. And 99% of the world still hasn't noticed it yet. Your EV is not just your car. In 2026, it will become a mobile battery that could get paid to save the grid, believe it or not. And if you don't plug it in, well, um, basically you're literally leaving free money sitting there in your garage. What I'm talking about now, though, is the new vehicle to grid network, why this is the most low key best thing ever happened in Australia. Well, I think so. Not the best thing that ever happened, but one of them's up there, put it that way. <laughs> The federal government has just handed over a few million dollars, plus another $1.37 million from industry, to basically turn every driveway into a mobile power station. It's not the driveway doesn't go into a mobile power station. Every driveway into something you can park a mobile power station on. Does that make sense? I think I got it, yeah. Led by the University of Technology in Sydney, hi guys over in UTS, and the Climate KIC. I'm not sure what that acronym means, but um, anyway. They're calling it Vehicle to Grid Network, or VGN, which means Vehicle Grid Network. <laughs> Sounds like something you might order from a hipster cafe. This one will actually pay you, and the tip is mandatory. So um, I'll try to explain it like I'm drunk at a barbecue again. Um, right now, your EV sitting in the garage, or in our case, just sitting out there in the paddock, plugged into the garage, <laughs> doing nothing, doing sweet FA. Or it could be charging, or not. Actually, it's not too bad right now. Believe it or not, we're actually still making decent power out of these solar panels when the sky looks like that. So the car is sitting in the garage doing nothing but charging. But yeah. What can happen though, say the grid needs a peak demand at 7 p.m., everybody's cranked on those air conditioners, everybody's turned on the kettle on a hot summer 40 day in Sydney, a usual coal power station's gone bang over there and sudden demand. Your car's plugged in. Your car will now sell 10 to 20 kilowatts, or whatever you set it at, back to the network and you will get paid retail rates for the electricity sold to the network. Think amber, but without using amber, but your car. I'm sure amber will have a lot to do with this anyway. So your car quietly sells the money, you get paid retail rates. So we're talking possibly up to $100, 300 bucks a month for your car doing literally nothing, except sitting in the garage and you owning an EV. Oh yeah, of course you're gonna need a bi-directional charger. It's like your car is only fans, but family friendly and motorists like it. So real numbers that might hurt the petrol bros, unfortunately, South Australia's turned the system on already in 2024. Someone in the Mitsubishi Outlander is um, currently getting checks from the power company. Yes, actual checks in 2024. I didn't think that still existed either, but here we are. So, from the end of 2025 now, or the 1st of December 2025, until the end of 2029, the VGN is building the rules so every bi-directional car charger just works, no matter what state you're in. So there'll be no more of this. Sorry mate, you might be in, um, have a missing leaf here in Adelaide and it's working great, but you go back to, go back to Brisbane and you're not gonna get your VTL thing going. Not happening. That's gone, they're gonna fix all that. So it's gonna be one standard across the entire country, one massive collaboration, and basically no excuses. So. It's quite the savage flex when you think about it. Australia actually getting on, we're cleaning our grid after, you know, those nine years had back there. The USA though, still arguing about whether EVs catch fire or even wind causes cancer. Europe's busy writing 5,000 page regulations of EVs, rolling them back, writing them again, rolling them back. China though, they're just cranking out EVs like there's no tomorrow. And also with some crazy battery tech, which might also help with this V2G thing. Australia though, we got hold my VB. Watch us pay drivers to stabilize the grid while dropping EV prices, you know, now below 24K, believe it or not, because I was mentioned in previous videos. BYD 801, 23,990 available in Australia, cheapest EV on the road before middleman costs and taxes. Though that car can be sitting in your garage while you're sleeping, printing money for you as well. So basically, we're saying lots of EVs, lots of volume equals power, lots of it. Oh, thunder. I won't get back under those panels just in case I'll finish wrap this video up. So I don't get zapped, so I don't get rapidly charged from sky, sky power. Yeah, free power from the sky. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so every million bi-directional EVs on the road could equal between 10 and 20 gigawatt hours of flexible storage attached to the grid at any point in time. So it's like building 10 giant grid batteries, except they're already paid for by the car owners. No taxpayers, oh, there's a few taxpayer subsidies in those subsidies. But anyway, we're subsidizing coal power plants to keep failing every three hours anyway. But yeah, but these mobile power plants, um, they drive themselves home they can be cup holders too, believe it or not. So, while renewables are doing their thing, coal power plants fail as usual at this time. Your wallet goes, ka ching, blackouts go bye bye. So, yeah, if you're still driving a noisy diesel, it guzzles 120 bucks a tank, 2026 is gonna hurt. While your neighbor's silent EV sitting in the garage, it's quieter, it's faster, it's cheaper, cheaper to run, 
and it's making a side hustle while it's parked, keeping your lights on. Think about it. Now, one, take that one mate in the video that keeps saying EVs are a scam. This video is going to be a great therapy session for those guys. Yeah. Sources of info for this are Arena, the Australian government, UTS, Institute for Sustainable Futures, Climate KRC in Australia, and um, again, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. We really much appreciate it. But yeah, I think this is an amazing tech, and the fact that this is happening is just fantastic. So um, your EV can park in his garage and pay its own rent. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you all next video. I hope you will. Bye.